good morning all so welcome shiva sir good morning sir so very good welcome morning. thank you sir welcome to all the participants for the second day of friday e seminar on resistance in mechanical engineering which is organized by the department of mechanical engineering pvk instar technology anthapur so this is a continuous session for yesterday session so uh, thank you sir for enlightening us uh, with the basics of cfd in yesterday session so what is cfd on the what is the history of cfd and what are the applications of the cfd with all these things uh, enlightening us with the basics so thank you very much sir now i request uh, our, our resource person so please sir, uh, start the session thank you sir. thank you ashok good morning to all uh, let me begin with yesterday's uh, some introduction Let's begin with the uh, SBS uh, introduction, which uh, has given some uh, basics of uh, fluid mechanics, fluid dynamics, and different types of flows. Yesterday we learned some of the things from this. Uh, what is CFD? We got the information, some some basic idea on CFD, and why it is. Uh, is useful for mechanical uh, engineers or other field engineer persons and how it can be used uh, initiated but uh, today i want to continue in brief on that and for whom it is useful uh, is it for use for industries or institutions or any other uh, organizations we'll see that in subsequent slides okay today i already have Learned that CFD, CFD is full form is computational fluid dynamics, which deals with the numerical flow simulations. Okay, and this is one of the branches of fluid mechanics, and it uses numerical methods, algorithms to solve and like problems that involve error fluid flows will be there okay, that can be simulated in this computational fluid dynamics. Okay, and uh, this is not only for uh, fluid flows; it is also useful for mass and heat transfer. Uh, phenomena also. Yesterday already I have shown these two pictures. Mac number uh, This is the Mac number pictures. So people, some people will thought uh, it will uh, after getting results and post process it will look like all colorful pictures. So people used to call colorful fluid dynamics, but it is not colorful fluid dynamics. Computational fluid dynamics. And uh, yesterday already I have uh, discussed about some of these things. But uh, before starting that uh, CFD in depth, uh, we need some knowledge of fluid flows. Okay. And for fluid and mass transfer, it is somewhat critical compared to fluid flows. It is uh, in CFD simulating that fluid and mass transfer. Some some is critical phenomena. And uh, this modeling is useful to enhance any process design and development process. During the any a new product development, uh, we, we can simulate the, all those flow phenomena and external or internal flows. Any uh, product design. It's before designing that product, we can this CFD modeling very useful to enhance the any uh, changes in the design during initial stages. And CFD next quality, quality of the uh, results. Okay, if you want to compare with any available results, you can uh, improve the quality by changing some uh, schemes or uh, by improving the mesh quality. Okay. And uh, there are different parameters we can uh, try with those things. And whatever uh, good results or convergence we will get, then we will stop that and we will. Compared with the available results, and uh, this is a uh, if you want to develop many uh, uh, designs, new designs, if you want to develop new designs or technologies, is the best tool uh, to develop the methodology, new methodology for a new designs. And yesterday I have shown these uh, steps, what are the steps involved in this CFD? First, it uh, is See the pre processor in depth. We will see today. Pre processor, what is pre processor, and uh, what are the steps needed in this? What we will going to do in that pre processing process stage, 
for example, if any product design, we need to some input details we need to give, okay, some parameters we need to set. Okay, like that on the year also, similar way input. If you consider as an input as a pre processor and solver, it is a processing. Okay, here whatever uh, design needs are required, and uh, what are the using mathematical correlations, mathematical and analytical methods, the schemes, different schemes, we solve that problem and output. Okay, this is post processor also after getting the output results, we will plot our for the pictures or animations, anything. Okay. If you want to compare the results with any available results, those things uh, can be done in post processor. Okay. Uh, Ashwa, sir, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Sir, uh, the participants are asking that volume is a bit low. So, Rona, can you please adjust your microphone? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and to see this post pre-processor, these are the steps, different steps involved in the CFD methodology. So I have some brief, uh, brief on this process. Okay, first thing is pre-processor. Okay, first we need, we will get a geometry or any geometry. I have taken here a rectangular wing and I have generated a surface mesh and uh, volume mesh. It is a volume mesh. This is a volume mesh and this is a surface mesh on the wing. Okay, and here it is a structured domain I have generated. So it is a simple geometry, so I prefer for structured mesh. Otherwise, if it's, it's some complex geometry is there, we can prefer for unstructured mesh. Okay, it is very easy to generate on complex geometries. Okay. In this, what we will do, we are going to do in this uh, pre processor. Okay. FD engineer needs first order geometry. He, okay, okay. he needs clean cleanup of the geometry. Okay, CAD, any CAD tool or Mesh tool, okay, mesh generation tool, so he, he can modify the geometry as per the requirements of the, okay, uh, the design, uh, okay. And here, first part we will do, generate the grade and uh, domain, this, this is the domain, we will discretize into a finite set of control volume surfaces, this is called the control volume surface, we each cell uh, here in the this mesh, you can see, that is called as a control volume or cells, okay. And this, this domain is called as a mesh, grid or mesh. The okay, whole thing it is called as a grid or mesh. Okay. There are several uh, elements in the uh, control volumes in the okay. And this is the this selection of phenomena right, to specify some types of problems in the material properties and such. Those things also we can uh, specify in quick or same stage. Okay. And uh, the established uh, initial and boundary conditions for any problem to design or anything, okay, design a new problem or uh, develop a new uh, product, you need to be, uh, give some initial and boundary conditions. Here also, same thing, similar way we give some, uh, okay, initial and boundary conditions, it is in, in inlet and this outlet here, okay, on wall here, on wing, we give the okay, wall boundary condition, okay, and identity wall conditions. Okay. And uh, we come to the solver part. Okay, something it is like this. Uh, if we can monitor the results. Okay, convergence. Okay, yesterday one person is asking about convergence. Okay, here are some residuals. Okay, residuals you can monitor here. Okay, solver part. Okay, there are different parameters, density or anything. Okay, okay. density, continuity, momentum, everything. You okay. can uh, monitor in this. Okay, uh, during simulation. Okay, during solving the problem itself, you can monitor. If there is any issues are there, we can stop and again we can modify that okay, method or schemes we can change, okay. So during that solver itself, we can change those things. And solver, maybe it is in-house or uh, own the code or maybe commercial software also, okay. And in this, in this what happens, okay. Uh, these are some few things I listed, but I will brief on some more details in subsequent slides, okay. Uh, here, this PD is the partial differential equations are discretized into Algebraic equations, that is what are the equations, continuity in solver, continuity, momentum, energy equations, all those things, okay. uh, we call Navier-Schmitt's equations, those equations, okay, described into final form, algebraic form of equations, okay. Here, all equations are solved in the focal, all of these equations, okay, they are solved in this whole focal, this one, okay, here I have taken an example of this 
okay, rectangular ring and this is the control volume CH grade, the CH grade, okay, let's say as a field of grade, okay, in this popular degree, you have to solve all the equations to each control volume and you get the, okay, what are parameters needed, you can kind of compose equations, okay, for solving those equations and for solving this uh, bounding, we solve this bounding equation, kind of form this bounding equations, okay, for that bounding equation, it is some techniques, okay, numerical technique is required, okay. okay. By using that techniques, those are the some, for example, this finite difference method, okay. These are the different uh, methods, okay, techniques we use to solve those bounding equations, okay, finite difference method, finite element method, and finite volume method, and there are, uh, what is the difference between those, uh, it depends upon the what, which problem you are solving, in, for example, if you are solving with finite difference method, this is a, uh, for Cartesian grids, okay. this is applicable for only structured grids. Okay, and most of the cases we use kind of a volume method. Okay, and there are other methods, boundary element method and spectral difference method. There are several methods are available. Okay, and uh, coming to the post processor, these are the some of one of the plot I have. Okay, if you take uh, that wing section, okay, from here, if you cut that wing section after getting all the simulating results, we want to show some. Yes, okay, so what is the flow over that wing, okay, uh, in the volume, okay. I have taken one per section and I am showing you. It looks look like something like this, okay. Here we can plot any pressure uh, contours or uh, velocity contours, whatever, Mach number contours, okay. Here I have the streamlines also, okay. We can plot streamlines or path lines, okay, path lines. How it is, uh, flow is there, okay. Okay, it is some angle, okay, 20 degrees angle of attack. The flow is yes, 20 degrees angular. Okay. okay. Like that, we can show many uh, images or uh, pictures in this uh, by using some tools or uh, we can use our own server to draw the pictures. Just a minute. So we'll be back in a moment. So please uh, be in online. Sure, there is a technical issue. This is uh, got unmuted. I think so. Okay. Uh, we are in post processor. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, we can plot the several isolation uh, pictures. Uh, streamlines, counter pictures, okay, animations, okay, you can make a movie of the, okay, animation, we call it animation. You can show the, uh, how the flow is uh, uh, happening in the flow or any, uh, or in this geometry, okay, here you are, I'm talking about rectangular geometry, okay. Coming to the, in some more details I'll give on this pre processor solver and uh, post processor. And here, in P processor, as I told, we need to generate a mesh or that whatever geometry we have chosen to solve that problem. Okay, here there are different uh, mesh. Uh, there are different types of meshes are there. Okay, here, uh, for example, there are the, whatever I told that volumes. Okay, if you choose the tetrahedral or hexahedral, pyramid, prism, triangular, quadrilateral, there are different uh, mesh. Uh, these are the different elements we can okay uh, see the in the control volume okay here uh, for example for structured mesh we structured mesh there will quadrant quadrilateral line the inside the cells will be there okay uh, for getting any effective results here the results it requires good quality mesh okay without that quality mesh uh, you may get some differences in results okay some variations in results so we need a quality mesh and we need some more depends on the uh, depends upon the geometry. Okay. It also depends on the geometry. So we need to generate a good quality mesh to get a 
good uh, results okay on that uh, geometry chosen okay and uh, to generate a mesh okay to generate a mesh water type geometry is required for a type geometry means there is there will be no holes on that geometry okay there will be no gaps in between any uh, that uh, in line fuselage is there. There, is, there must be no gaps in that and wherever uh, geometry uh, connections will be there so there the joints will be there so those uh, you need to take care of all those things whatever okay uh, gaps holes and uh, overlapping those things and uh, we need to clean up okay initial stage only to get a good quality mesh on the surface of the geometry okay and without affecting that uh, flow of physics you need to uh, get the geometry good geometry good quality okay clean up is needed okay for the, uh, generating a good quality mesh okay that's what i already mentioned so now creating a mesh that is ready for the CFD analysis it, it, it takes some it depends on the, the complex geometry is there you, you need much time you need to spend much time on that geometry okay and uh, it takes for solving that uh, problem it can take a um, few minutes or it can take hours also it, it, for example it unsteady flow and there are a lot of you know, features you need to capture then it will take some hours of time or days of time okay and for simple geometries, as I told that quadrilateral, okay, quadrilateral cells or hexagonal cells, okay, uh, on simple geometries you can uh, choose those things and we, that is uh, preferred for preferred as a structured grid. So you can generate on simple geometry structured grids. And for complex geometries, you can go for the unstructured grid, as I already mentioned in the previous slide. The unstructured grids are preferred for complex geometries, so we can get a faster meshing and uh, okay. If you have good quality mesh, then you can get a good results also. Okay, this is one of the examples from point I have taken. Okay, they are done for this for power flow simulation over power, and they have unit mesh. You can see uh, inside the frontal volume how the cells appear. Okay, it's similarly for uh, this is uh, wing. Okay, wing uh, here you can see near portion they they made some T-rex, some layers they have put. We generally do like that. Here, wherever we need to capture a boundary layer, we need to find mesh. Okay, similarly, here also they have done. And uh, so, what are the precursor tools are there? Okay, what are the precursor uh, tools are there? We can see here. Uh, we can use our own codes. Okay, we can write our own codes in Fortran or C, C. Okay, we can write our own codes for generating a mesh. Okay. And uh, input parameters also we can our own way we can okay, uh, provide in that course okay. And uh, point wise, this is the as I, I told in previous my slide that it is also one of the tool to generate a okay good quality meshes and ANSYS mesh. For example, uh, in this ANSYS mesh is doing we can call fluent or ANSYS. Uh, this is the software they are having Gambit and iPhone CFD etc. And uh, Nimeka is one of the other tool we can, can use for generating the uh, meshes, so the structured and unstructured meshes. And one another uh, tool is Grid Pro Open Form. This is the open source software you can use this one, HyperMesh and uh, GMesh, GMS. This is the open source software you can use. It is freely available and you can use that tool for the processor. And uh, it is having uh, some post processor features also. And uh, coming to the solver part, processor or processing, whatever uh, numerical methods solved. Okay, in that uh, also we can write a, our own code. Okay, in our code, there are so many codes we can write. Or whatever the problem is there, if, if you want to solve that problem, okay, we can use these in uh, in our codes. Okay, Fortran or C C plus plus as a code, and this can be uh, we can solve in Linux or Windows platforms. Okay, based on uh, depends on user. What are they, they choose in Linux or Windows platform? And we can uh, run this computation in iterative mode until it is uh, convergence. We need to run this computation for many iterations. For study flow, it may not take some uh, much time, but unstudy flows, it need several number of iterations, and there will be some periodic uh, motion okay, oscillation. So we need to get some much time and uh, 
there are some open source software so so open form and yeah you do and free pen okay and crackers my tpg for sure these are also you can run in both the platforms in the same linux and these are freely uh, available and we can use those we like those tools okay to solve our any uh, described problems okay and uh, some commercial tools okay ansys for example ansys is there okay and and skates give the plus pro free the high fun stuff you do you can you make a there are so many uh, commercial softwares are available and uh, some analytical methods dsro usero the community there some analytical methods also available to solve those uh, or problems and the most details if you go in solver this actually this uh, equations or the equation knowledge of equations and all these are based on uh, general level so they or the discrete class of uh, physics okay conservation laws of physics continuity newton second law okay and conservation of energy here uh, this all uh, this continuity one equation this is one equation in momentum there will be three equations to be done and energy one equation the total four equations and uh, this is the governing equation okay final governing equation Okay, we have to do an study for uh, where uh, variation in time is this time, and uh, this is a convection time, equilibrium time, generation. Okay. And we will see some more details uh, in uh, subsequent slides. Uh, and as I already mentioned, for discretization of those uh, mesh con control volumes, okay, we need uh, some method, technical method that uh, already I mentioned in my previous slides. Okay. So in the Navier-Stokes equation, we are talking since yesterday. Okay. Uh, Yes, it describes the how the velocity pressure temperature is being on it. Okay, this is fluid. Okay, uh, and these are derived independently by Stokes and Navier yesterday already I, uh, mentioned. And uh, equations are extensions, as I mentioned, Euler Euler equations they are taken and they have uh, introduced the viscosity term and they solved independently. Okay, and these Navier Stokes equations must be. consists of time dependent continuity equation as i mentioned in my previous slide continuous conservation of mass free time dependent conservation of momentum equations and the uh, time dependent conservation of energy equation okay so from the is now it can solve in uh, different uh, we need some methodologies okay we uh, we do the the uh, number that uh, okay uh, problem okay this so for, for solving this navier stokes equations Uh, we can apply this like engine or Eulerian methods. In uh, Eulerian methods, there is a good element that is fixed in a space. Okay, generally that what I am speaking about this central volume. Okay, and in this way, each particle, particle okay in the flow, uh, there is a part like okay, uh, it is having it's having mass, moment, energy. Okay, general energy. And uh, many other parameters. Okay, so then on each particle we need to okay compute. Okay, uh, these two phenomena uh, uh, we can plot on solving this Navier-Stokes okay. equation. For example, I was showing you forces in x direction. Okay, uh, like the uh, different uh, okay different assumptions we need to make on solving this and uh, Navier-Stokes equation. Very lengthy equation. I'm uh, just uh, taking some of few steps from you. Okay, very uh, lengthy derivation. Okay. For example, uh, you can in summary of these equations: continuity, okay, and momentum equations, okay, internal energy, something like this, okay. And uh, if you write these equations, okay, in uh, conservative form, and then integral form, we are writing this integral form. We apply those divergence theorem, okay, and final form is the main. Uh, Equation which is CFD to solve CFD problems. Okay, this is the conservation. This is the conservation equation to solve CFD problems. Okay, this is based on control volume work from the uh, discussion. Okay, uh, this in this uh, uh, this going equation we can apply the finite uh, volume method. Okay, and uh, coming to the post processor uh, here, what I mentioned that. Plotting, okay. Plotting and uh, any analysis of data, validation, comparison, verification, for example, forces, moments, okay. Any uh, parameter we need to uh, we can compare, okay. By after passing those results, 
okay, using these some of the tools, okay, post processing tools are there. For this also you can use our in-house tools also you can use uh, TechPlot, TechPlot is used use by TechPlot, okay, some para view is there. This is an open source uh, software available for post processing. ANSYS post is also there and the DNA plot and entire field view. My, there are several uh, uh, post processing tools are there. So these are some of the examples of uh, post processing. Uh, this is an after 001 to 0 point. The contour we can see here. Okay. So this is a SQ2 code. What I mentioned that SQ2 code is the open source. Okay, open source code that is available in Stanford University code. That we can uh, utilize. Okay, this is free, openly available. We can use that code and we can simulate. Okay. This is one of the condition that I have for the flow of the car streamline. You can see here. And coming to the applications, okay. Uh, what I mentioned that uh, for whom it is useful and especially used for the industry or instruction. There are a lot of applications, okay. Several applications for the watch applications. Okay, this is uh, for aerospace industries and you need to cross over aircraft, helicopters, or space ships, spacecraft, for example, rocket, okay, and missiles. For automobiles, engines, any part of the automobile, uh, in, uh, this automobile parts you can take and you can simulate the flow, how it is happening inside uh, all external flow and internal flows. Okay, we can simulate. Automobile industry that is very useful, and uh, this RD situation, air conditioning, which we is heating and ventilation, air conditioning, compressor, heat exchanger, furnaces, wherever uh, it's mechanical to flow, flow will be there. We can simulate the flow phenomenas using the CRB tool and uh, in thermal power plants also. Okay. That's my heat, heat exchangers are empty, uh, and nuclear power plants. Okay. They also, wherever flow is there, that Phenomena we can see how it is happening and how we need to change the designs and all those things you can predict using this tool. And chemical emulation, reactor, the chemical reactors, mixers, that multi phase flows will be there, and separators, and environmental engineering also, weather prediction, this is also one of the important uh, aspects, weather prediction, okay, and river tidal flows, fire air and uh, smoke spread, how it is uh, flowing that, okay, from this back and all, you can see here, uh, okay, continue the things also. From exhaust, whatever smoke is coming, those things are all we can capture, okay, using the CMB tools, wind turbines, okay. There are wind turbine blade designs will be there. Those things also we can easily simulate in this, uh, using the CMB tool. And there are some internal and external environments, of buildings also. Okay, how the flow is there? If very uh, multi-story buildings are there, then you can you want to see how the flow is happening in between those buildings. Those phenomena also. Okay, we can simulate biomedical. So you can biomedical in this also heard how the fabric is happening. Okay, those things and all we can simulate using the CMB tool. That is the flow in lungs, breathing passages, and so some of the uh, applications in this. Okay. And the marine engineering, marine engineering or naval, okay. so you have to ship and submarines, so if you build submarines, you can uh, simulate the flows of so those things. And the hydrologization of this river questions are there mentioned here, some tidal flows are here. And textile manufacturing, glass, steel, food crossing units, other those. Crossing units, also we can easily simulate the AFD phenomena, whatever is needed. Modification, design modifications are in. If you want to see that design change any phenomena, you can use these KB tools. And electrical, uh, here cooling of the transformer, okay. And simulate that uh, it, it will get heated. So, uh, if you want to see the, how the uh, process is going, cooling, so the cooling, what we need to do. And electronics is specific to this unit of the cooling system. Here also, we need some air, AC, air conditioning, and all. Okay. And many other applications. Okay. 
and this is one of the yesterday i have shown that uh, airbus uh, similarly boeing boeing also having some stability applications and capabilities in current peak uh, carrier aircrafts okay this is boeing 787 you can see a cmd substantial cmd placement so they were mentioned wing tip design high speed wing what are these things any modification is for you can see it so you can see the tool okay can come with it okay and this uh, tail but the tail and nozzle here okay. not the inlet exhaust or how it is that means you see okay. and the uh, cab design okay this can also we can Simulate and uh, you can is there changes needed before okay right also you can modify those things okay there are several places okay and this is one of the example of um, in the application efficiently uh, they are using these are some applications okay uh, this is for uh, this helicopter and uh, we had what I mentioned in biomedical. All the flow is happening inside the heart, and this is a central pump, and this is building flow or building, okay. and then the fertilizer flow or the side fertilizer, okay. some that okay, that flow, all these basically motor sports, sports also you can, the basically, bas basically motor cycling. Can see the flow phenomena, how it is happening. So, all those things you can study with this. Okay. You can do similar training with CMD tools. Okay. There are some of some of the applications, and this is the flow over path. Okay. And these are the some of the equipment textbooks. Okay. Uh, available for completion of fuel dynamics. uh this is a, one of the best book to start with uh, completion to them that jan d anderson so this is one of the best book you can initially can learn from the basics and many things okay many fundamentals and uh, uh, many related to the next course is given by jan d anderson and uh, one of another special book is first the model shaker and uh, Impression to complete the program next by this. Excuse me, sir. Sorry. Yeah. Sir, please adjust your microphone. Pin that to the laptop, sir. Something. Uh, yeah, some audio will do. Yeah, hello. Yeah, sir. No, it is very clear, sir. Thank you. Sorry for the distance. And uh, these are the some of the text links. Okay. This is just to code. Uh, this open source code. Okay, you can use that and for simulating any complex geometry. So, the geometry you can use this course and now the open form uh, software is there. And CFD online. If you want to read some more details, uh, you can do this CFD online. Some there, so so much of uh, details about CFD is available. And uh, this is some of the course they have shown in this area. So, get that that one. And uh, for this meshing guidelines, uh, we can refer that A with P W calculation of uh, NASA. That those are available on open open and V mesh that I uh, mentioned for pre-processing, during generation. G mesh tool also we can use. And uh, for courses, there are several courses are available in this NPT area. Okay. Even there are several co courses are available. Those you can use. Let those uh, MPTL okay resources and uh, some more application I would like to show uh, recently in this in COVID time there are some simulations done by this some ANSYS people this is uh, the the mask respirator okay. how it is going to happen. And this this system.
running behind each other. Medical pages. It's also done by Antic TV. Medical pages in the room to minimize contamination. There are more few uh, ultra low quality days uh, in the, the slide. Okay. In the slide. Uh, by using the cell tower to help them disinfect the areas in the lake bed. during the uh, treatment of the COVID patients. Turbulence models, there are several turbulence models that are available to uh, solve this scenario to equation, known equations, to prove that equation. We okay, need some turbulence models. There are several uh, models that are available zero equation model, one equation model, two equation, zero equation model, volume, the max, region, and uh, steady thickness. And uh, one equation model, there are several uh, models that are available volume, but skeletal model, A model. And uh, for two equation models, case, you can choose uh, based on the application, you can choose the, uh, the model. Okay. Two equation models are then case, law, k omega, k tau. Okay. Uh, and three equation models, uh, case, law, okay. and uh, four equation models are the least correct models. Okay. So several models are available, we need to, we can choose uh, based on our application. Okay. Like that, uh, uh, and uh, one more thing, uh, we need to remember that during this, okay, yeah, during this slow combination of okay, simulations, one more phenomena, okay, EFL number will okay, be very important uh, during this. Okay, during computations in mathematics, uh, CFL is very important. Uh, this is one of the convergence condition given by the current uh, ladies. If you have a condition convergence or solving any uh, partial differential equations, okay, very, very, very good at hyperbolic uh, partial differential equations. Similarly, you can solve those things. Okay. So, those things we need to uh, pair during the solving those problems, so okay, for a number. Okay. And, uh, okay, so that's it. Is there any questions? So, I can continue.
Hello. Yeah, are the mayors. So thank you, sir. So thank you for enlightening us uh, with all the new applications uh, and animations. Uh, so with a very clear picture. So thank you very much. Now I request the participants who are participating uh, uh, in uh, Zoom as well as in the YouTube. If you have any queries, uh, please uh, post your query in the chat box, either in the uh, YouTube chat box or in the Zoom chat box uh, wherever you are attending. So I will ask in, 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 on behalf of you. And if any participant have any queries, uh, you can unmute your mic and you can uh, ask your question. Hello. Yeah, hello, sir. Please introduce hello. yourself. Okay, I am Neeraj Singhala. Yeah, please. I want to know that for the transit at conduction problem. Hello. Yeah, tell me. Am I audible? Yeah, it's audible. Tell me. Okay. For the tra I am calling from Rajkot. I am working in a VP Engineering College, Mechanical Department. Okay, sir. Currently, yes. I am pursuing PhD. Yes, sir. My research work in uh, heat transfer. Okay. okay. Uh, I want to know that uh, for the solving the problem of heat transfer or the transport heat, trans transit heat conduction problem, which okay. tool of CFD is better? CFX, CFD, or say any other? Till now, I have not done on those uh, heat transfer problems. There are several uh, tools are very good, as you are mentioning. Okay. Uh, and this is also one of the best tools. CFX is there. There is a problem you can decide. But, uh, okay. This one of the best kind of problems. Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, there is another question from Chantil Kumar. Yeah, so, what is the significance of uh, Y plus function? Yeah, it is a uh, uh, yeah, Chantil. Hello. Yes, yeah, sir. Please. Yeah, uh, you based on that Y plus is that based on that uh, first grid cell distance. Okay, you are, how you are doing that? One. Okay, based on that one, we will get that Y plus right. Sir, another question from uh, uh, Dr. Rupendra Rajak. So, sir, uh, any side for learning open open form free of cost? Yeah. So, any sources to learn the open form uh, free of cost? Yeah, open form is available in open uh, uh, tutorials. Go to that. Yeah. Okay, you can go to that uh, website and you can see uh, there are so many details available. Already I mentioned here also open form that now. This is fairly available, and uh, one of the, I suggest the Stanford University for that. This is the best for best tool for uh, solving many uh, larger aircraft problems or any bigger problems. Okay, this is also available open source. Okay, this is something we need code uh, coding background, but this open for most cases also you can use. It's fairly available software. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Some of the participants are asking about your uh, mail ID. So, yeah. what do you say? Yes, sir. I request participants to note down that uh, particular mail ID. Uh, Shiva S H I V A dot. Uh, A O L K O N D I at the rate of gmail.com. So you can mail your queries to us, sir. Sir is uh, open to all. So 
uh, you can mail by the mail by uh, mailing uh, please uh, mention uh, please do mention that you have attended uh, the workshop of arranged by pvkkit so sir will uh, respond yeah you can mail me Shiva sir, hello. Yes, is sir. it audible? Yes, uh, yes sir. sir. Yeah. Okay. The session was good uh, yesterday's and today's. Yeah. Uh, we are uh, very much thankful to you. Even in your uh, busy schedule, you came here and uh, you have uh, participated uh, for our request. So I am very much thankful to you, sir, uh, on behalf of our uh, management, the principal, and the higher authorities. Very much thankful to you, sir. Uh, Thank you. So. If and uh, all the participants, I request that if you are having any queries, already Sar has given an email ID address. If you are ha having any queries regarding the CFD, you can uh, in, uh, you can contact him so that he can uh, give briefly uh, answers to your uh, doubts. Okay. And we are having a three more days tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. There is a two sessions uh, for one hour, one hour. Uh, the session will be from uh, Qatar, Doha. You are going to be get there from. Uh, it is based on uh, the topic of HVAC, heat ventilation and air conditioning. Who is having a vast experience in that? Uh, our uh, resource person. So tomorrow we are going to be start that session. The timing and entire thing is going to be sent for your email address as well as we are going to be post in a, a WhatsApp group. And uh, for this, if your feedback and feedback form is going to be sent in a chat box, and for YouTube also it is going to be sent in a comment box. So this is. Sir, uh, Shivakumar, sir, uh, very yeah. thankful, sir. We, we are very much thankful to you. So yeah, exactly. after having a busy schedule, you have joined us. So thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Sir, Harsha, sir. Uh, at, at, the outset, uh, yeah, sir. Ah, at, at the outset, yes. At the outset, I would like to thank the, our today's, our, our today's our resource person, uh, Shivakumar, sir. Thank you very much for uh, thank you, sir. sharing your time and sharing your knowledge. Thank you, Shivakumar, sir. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. Oh.